On Koros. Wow, that's a weird. Like a bunch of little, a bunch of little spikes throughout the day, and I clicked on the chart when I meant when I when I didn't when I didn't mean to. Great. But little spikes throughout the day. That's. I don't think I've ever seen a day chart quite like that before. That's interesting. Although still up on Friday, that's impressive. Friday was a rough day for a lot of stuff. Um, however, it does come after a rough month for 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 this company. Uh, make that a rough year? Or a rough six months? After spiking in January. I want to read a little more, a little more about this history. Okay, let me go as far back as I can go. So, announces pricing a public offering. This was last year. They value themselves at $15 per share. Okay, that's respectable. They participated in fireside chats. They brought this Steve fella on board. Uh, appointed board of directors. Companies like on on chorus are in a position to invest in growth. When was this published? January second, right at the peak. Right at the peak of that, and that's when it all fell apart. Why did it fall apart, though? Did the, did the hype just die down? I don't really see... Um, uh, provides business highlights? Maybe that was it? Maybe that's what started the run-up? Aggregate gross proceeds in October from initial public offering. Initiated phase one. Ah, uh, phase one clinical trial. You're still a far long and away from anything marketable if you're still in phase one. That's a, that's, that's a hard sell if you're an investor, I think. Completed initial public offering in October. Initiated phase one trial. Continued to advance our platform. This to invest the growth. When might on course run out of money? Company's cash runway is calculated by dividing its cash hoard by its cash burn. If it had. 54 million in cash and was debt free. Looking at the last year, company burnt through 35 million. Therefore, from September 2020, it had roughly 18 months of cash runway. Is 18 months enough time to get uh, a candidate drug through all the phase trials and approved and marketable? I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I've, th I've seen companies take longer. What type of shareholders own the most number? Small cap stock, you don't say, so I'm going to be well known with many institutional investors. General public, hedge funds, firms, institutions, individual insiders. Commonly compare their own results to returns of commonly. Uh, I, I'm kind of not liking this. Not because it's bad, but because it's a far and long, it's far and long away from bringing up anything that I think can move that stock price any 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 further northward. Not that it can, not that it can't do it ever, but it's far and away from anything that can make it go higher. Seems like as soon as I buy, they go lower. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't buy yet. This is this is far and away from from anything marketable or profitable. Again, not to say it won't be there one day, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. And you're better putting your money elsewhere. 
company going bankrupt. I mean, they might. It wouldn't be the first, you know, clinical stage company to go bankrupt because they couldn't get anything, anything, anything marketable. Uh, again, it's not, it's not saying they're a bad company, but I don't see, I don't see any reason for that stock price to move north of where it is for a long, long, long time. And because of that, I have to give these guys a sell. If it was two years from now, maybe I would give them a buy or even a hold. But for now, uh, this is a sell because they're a super early stage. Again, no reason why that stock price should go north of here anytime soon, I think. <laughs>